great visa story are always the marriage cases. Anytime we had a marriage case, it often involved an American citizen and a foreign national who were separated for a significant period of time. And it was always nice to see them reunited. One time when I was in uh, Nicaragua, um, it was a couple that had been separated for a good 10 to 15 years and they finally were able to reunite to that visa interview. Um, being able to give them that visa really made a difference in their lives and it made me feel very hopeful um, about what they were um, able to do to come together. Great visa interview. If you've ever seen the show 90 Day Fiancé Visa, in the second season there's a Nicaraguan couple, um, a young girl from Illinois and a young boy who ran a band, like the most famous band in Nicaragua. I actually gave them their visa the first season. Um, at that time, the show wasn't really popular, and so when I interviewed them, uh, they were both 19 at that time, um, and I asked them, well, what are you guys gonna do after you guys move to America together? And they said, oh, we're gonna be on this TV show. And so when the show actually came out while I was in Nicaragua, I was very terrified because anyone who's seen that show has seen that a lot of those couples can be really, really tricky. But luckily for me, that couple actually lasted, at least through that season of the show. So my favorite visa story is one time the president of Nigeria came for a visa interview. And as he was coming to the window, people were actually throwing petals in front of him, rose petals at the embassy in front of him. And so with each step he made, they threw more and more rose petals so he came to the window. And of course we gave him the visa, but at the end we were like, well, who's gonna sweep up all of these petals? <laughs> um, and so that was probably one of my favorite visa interviews, just because we asked him like, kind of questions about why he was traveling and what he was going to do in the United States. Um, here he was the president of the country and we were interviewing him for a visa. So that's one of my favorite visa stories.